So. Uh, Weisco Pistons bringing you Christian Craig here on the show. Uh, Weisco.com to learn more. They got a variety of pistons from reliable forge replacements to the performance focused Racer Elite Series. Uh, Christian, uh, let's talk a little bit about Supercross. Uh, we, hadn't, we didn't get you on after your win. Um, you're know, really, really cool to see you do it and very emotional, obviously. When Nate Thrasher passes you early at Salt Lake, are you like all of us going, What are you doing? What are you doing, Nate? Now, he did a great job because he also passed Hunter. But, wow, I was a little weirded out by that. At, at first, yeah. Like, I was like, okay, what's he doing? Like, he's pressuring me. But we just had a talk five minutes before that of what the plan was. Yeah. And then uh, when he went by me, we actually, like, came into a corner pretty slow, and I screamed. I was like, let's go. Like, I screamed pretty loud, like, trying to get him to go to Hunter. And yep. I watched him make the pass. and. Yeah, I mean, I think you know if he didn't end up making the pass, it, it would have been a different situation. But yeah, I mean that was cool. I, it was a cool night for the whole team. Yeah, I, mean, I, uh, I didn't have him. I didn't there. have him catching and passing Hunter in my bingo card. I was like, no, dude, no. like what are you doing? But then like three point gap. That's that's the best thing you could do was catch Hunter Lawrence. But I was like, wow, okay. So uh, yeah. yeah, really nice to finally get that. Did you reward yourself at all with anything? Did you did you do anything? Um, I did, but mainly it was like I had two days. My trainer gave me two days off, and uh, I just ate crap food. I think for two days straight. Oh, so huh. donut. I think Nothing donut Sunday, pizza. Just I didn't care what I was eating. And then uh, when I got back home to Florida, I rode Wednesday, and I was back on the program. So oh, okay. That was about it. So two days. Two days of eating whatever you want. That's my full summer yeah. grind yeah. right there. <laughs> that's low, That's Carnell's program. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, like, if you won the super, uh, their outdoor title, and then you you know how we take two, three weeks off, that, yep. I think that would be different. But right. it's, such a, it's such a tight turnaround that, you know, yep. you take your day or two and then get yep. back to work. Yeah, yeah, really. Was your team pretty stoked with your performance? Everybody pretty happy? Yeah, yep. yeah. I mean, w when they hired me, uh, a couple of years ago, that was Bobby's thing. It was like, um, you know, I want to get you a title, and and we did it. So, yeah, I mean, that was the goal. And to end, like, my, my 2VD career finally, like, with that was, uh, you know, you couldn't ask for much more. But I wish I could have done that all earlier in my career and, you know, wish I was Jet's age. But right. it happens injuries happen and well this is where i'm at so and, and as we it. and as we've covered on the show like you're you don't have a lot of races in the in the class like you just injured and yeah. you quit for a while and all that stuff so but you the the flip side is you no longer have to see the memes of you know oh. grandpas and christian craig i know all of that so I those know. are done those are done with we're, we're finally done that's that's gonna be nice to not see that but i'm sure they'll come up with something else it's well fine. a couple more years you'll yeah. get them in the 450 class yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, again, like, you know, I had your back a little bit on this when it comes to that, because you didn't have a lot of races. Uh, ex ex uh yeah. o Oldenburg had more freeze had more J Mart had more. There was probably a couple other guys I'm missing that actually had more races than you in the two fifty class. You know, it wasn't, wasn't like you were so experienced in the two fifties. Yeah. And if I, like a couple of years ago, if I had the opportunity to like take a four fifty deal, I would have jumped on that. Like, it right. I would have rather like been on a 450 a long time ago, but you know what? Uh, that's all I had on the table, and it was. Uh, and if I could be competitive and win, then why not try to take it? And yeah, I mean it. It worked out, but I just had to take a lot of crap on the way. Yeah, so, no, listen. Oh, yeah, right. your bank account doesn't care about the crap you take. That's for sure. You know? That plate, yeah. that plate doesn't either. Right, it's there. Uh, Seven zero two five eight six. Pulp, you got a question for Christian Craig? Brought to you by Weisco uh, Performance. Um, you know, I remember you killing it on a Honda at Paula, and then, but your last year's opener wasn't very good, right? And no, so I was like, okay, no. well, you know, you just won the Supercross. We were talking earlier in the show. A lot of got, you know, you can exhale. You've got your ride settled. So I'm impressed that you charged that hard. You looked that good at Paula, based on all those reasons. So yeah, impressive. Yeah, I felt good. I mean, I, I think I'm just uh, relieved after that that Supercross championship. Like from January to May it was just like one big tense moment, you know, like it all went by so quick, but it didn't. And, uh, like, obviously that's what everyone wants to be in is that the position I was in and yeah. winning the championship and stuff, but it's a lot of pressure. And every day during, like during the week, you have to like, 
be extra careful. You don't dab your foot or do right. something stupid. Right. And uh, that all is like takes a toll on you. And so when I finally wrapped it up in Salt Lake, it was like just a big exhale. So right. how much how much um, better did this that make you feel at this race? Like allegedly you have stuff lined up for the future. You just got this championship. No pressure. You're coming into your like kind of home race and yeah. just crush it. It must have just yeah. It must have just been a super fun weekend. Yeah, like the whole week, usually during the week leading up to the race, I'm I'm not stressed, but tense, you know, like just thinking and mm-hmm. and planning and stuff. But this week I was so like relaxed. I'm, I'm not sure what it was. I think I'm just in such a good spot, like mentally and physically that I just believe and and know, you know, whatever happens, like I know I can I know where I belong. And right. uh, it was cool to like put that together, though, you know, like. I didn't know where I'd fit in. I knew I'd be good, but um, to beat some of those guys, I mean, yeah, I I, I know that was uh, that was pretty cool, pretty you know, cool position. Up. Yeah, mm-hmm. you you look at yourself like you said. You got your deal for next year secured. You you uh, you you're not a championship threat in this class that from all of us talking, and you can yeah. just ride your race and show up, and you have that Supercross title in a bank. You got your future secured. Like, dude, like maybe you know what I mean. All of this could really work into your favor. Like, you could just be yeah. like, "Yeah, I'm letting it. I'm letting it out. I, I, whatever I do now is a bonus. Let's go for it, right?" Until he's sure. until he's in the yeah. championship. Yeah, and then he's got to worry about his foot right back and, into right, it. Oh right. God, I can't dab my feet. Well, I, you know, yeah. you, you think about talking about dabbing your feet. I mean, J Mart, right? You were at J Mart at the farm, and, and you know, he just yeah. goes for that little wall jump or whatever he was telling me, and and you know, blows out his shoulder. And sure, he already had a bad shoulder and all that, but. Like that's the stuff that can happen on a Wednesday. Yeah, it just could catch you at any time. Like yep. dirt bikes are gnarly, so you got to be aware. And like, I'm not saying I don't ever want to be in that position, but it is just a lot of thinking when you have that red yep. plate, yep. you know. And so, no, I mean, sure. I would love to be in that same position. Though I'm not gonna take that back. That's for sure. No, no, yeah, most people in this room would would take that all day long. 